the concept of surveillance is ingrained in our beings. God was the original surveillance camera. How do you manage your online identity? It's something I talk about with my students all the time. I've pretty much accepted the fact that you're going to meet ignorant people, and that's okay. You can't control that. You can't change that. Big Brother doesn't like all these little brothers looking at it. I'm convinced that if we don't define ourselves, other people will do it for us, and inaccurately. We're all creating an archive of our own lives, whether we're aware of it or not. If 300 million people were to offer up the details of their private lives, you would need to hire another 300 million people just to keep up. It's incredibly disturbing when a country, particularly your own country, uses discrimination as a basis for an investigation. We don't know what the next generation of art is going to look like. We're kind of making it up as we go along. Not unlike the tech industry. To this day, I get very nervous coming back into my own country. Despite the barrage of information about me that is publicly available, I live a surprisingly private and anonymous life. You can accuse me of being a terror suspect, but I can prove to you that I'm not. Information agencies operate in an industry that values data. Restricted access to information is what makes it valuable. I'm an artist, and usually when I tell people I'm an artist, they just look at me and say, do you paint? Or what kind of medium do you work in? It's really weird watching the government watch me.